Would you recommend this industry for other people, maybe in high school, middle school? Would you recommend it for even their parents to prescribe for their children to come into this industry as well? Oh yeah, very much so. There's always something new to learn. Always, there's so many different paths you can take. If you like turning, if you like milling, if you like Swiss machines, um, there's always something different. Uh, if you like the additive or subtractive lasering, uh, there's always something new. There's always going to be something new. Labor shortage, how many times have we talked about it? It is important to bring up, it's important to bring awareness to, but the counter discussion for that is apprentice programs. And that's why I have Keegan with me today. This man is about to graduate and move into the working world with us, well, we'll call us wise at this point. Whether that's true or not, we're gonna use that word. But we're here today because I would love for some of the audience out there, especially of the same age demographic as Keegan, to really receive this and go, you know what? I would like to do that too. I've learned from Keegan. I want to have a reliable job for the rest of my life. And this is kind of where we sit right now with DMG Mori. So firstly, Keegan, let's talk about the apprentice program as a whole, like a bird's eye view, overview of what you've gone through and why other people your age might want to consider it. When I first started getting the, into the apprenticeship program, I had only been in a shop for a couple of years. The shop I worked at was pretty much, they had one guy in the back programming, they give you a flash drive, you stick it in, hit go. He says, let me know if anything goes bad. Oh, all right, sure thing. Um, once I started here, it was more, more training, more learning kind of how the machines work, all the different languages that we use, the learning Siemens, Fanuc, Mitsubishi, Heidenhain, um, taking classes in our academy classes um, for plane transformation, cycle 800 for the Siemens side, just learning basic G-code for milling and turning, um, doing more projects as I got more involved with the machine, learning more on how the machines worked in and out. But overall, I mean, I've learned a lot. I'm yet to learn as much as I like, but it's all oh, there's, that's what the future is for, yeah. learning. So I'm, I'm listening to you talk, King, and I, I just keep thinking, I bet he's really excited about the future. So coming soon, you'll be finished with the program. You obviously, as we look around this amazing open house and DMG Mori is known as a global leader in technology. So you get to work on some of the best of the best oh, yeah. on the planet, right? Yeah, are you yeah. optimistic or even excited about the future? Oh yeah, I'm very optimistic and excited for the future. Um, all the different things you see in this building today, um, all the stuff that is coming uh, that isn't out in the public yet um, is very exciting and new and it just challenges me more uh, my brain and everything to strive to be better. Well speaking of you actually programmed the cell behind us didn't you? I did I programmed the robot behind us yes. So uh, when I think of manufacturing for me uh, and, and many many years ago as I'm much older than you I was turning raw material into something right? Do you like that concept and idea of taking a piece of raw material and maybe making a medical device that's going to help somebody walk again or something that's going to go into space or whatever it might be? Does that kind of push you to continue to learn and grow within the industry as well? Oh, yeah. Like um, the part I did on the, I programmed on the DMU-50 is an aerospace structure part. Um, it's slightly modified because so I can't make the actual one. But uh, that was my first five-axis part that was... Now that I've finished that, it's like I'm ready for my next challenge and uh, ready to try something else out. And we need more go-getters like you, that is for sure. Now, for the last question, because I know how much you love the camera, yeah. but we don't have all day and oh, yeah. night to do this, right? There's that That's smile right. I was looking for. Would you recommend this industry for other people, maybe in high school, middle school? Would you recommend it for even their parents to prescribe for their children to come into this industry as well? Oh yeah, very much so. There's always something new to learn. Always, there's so many different paths you can take. If you like turning, if you like milling, if you like Swiss machines, um, there's always something different. Uh, if you like the additive or subtractive lasering, uh, there's always something new. There's always going to be something new. Yeah, and just um, to elaborate a little bit on that, Keegan, because you're so right. For those about there watching, Keegan mentioned a whole lot of machines, which you're right, subtractive, additive, robots, cobots, pallet chains, bar feet, uh, turning, milling, whatever oh, yeah. it might be. But also, let's pretend for a second you want to do accounting or sales or anything on the back end and front end. That all exists in manufacturing oh, as yeah. well. Yep. So 
For everyone who's much, much younger than me, about Keegan's age, we do invite you into manufacturing. We do need you. And the labor shortage is important to address. So come have a, come have a taste of manufacturing, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. If you heard it from Keegan, it must be the truth. Thank you all for watching MTD CNC. We will see you again soon.